What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 79. We start today just over a brief recap of what happened in the World Cup in 2026. Yes, hosted by the Americas uh, in the summer and you'll see exactly what happened. Well, fair play to Canada leading the American charge. They went all the way to the semi-finals in the World Cup only to lose to Belgium who in the end won the whole thing, beating Argentina in the finals. Canada finished in third place in the World Cup fair play, but I know what you're thinking, Doxy boy, that's great and everything, but get on with what's going on with AC Milan, you just joined a new team, they're on the brink of collapse, we want to know what's going to happen in today's episode, let's just, just get straight to it man, this is class, I, okay, let's just get straight to it, today's episode guys, one of my favourites of the series, I can't wait to show you what happens, so, it's a transfer special today, 14 minutes of pure transfers, and on the back of our first signing with AC Milan in the last episode, joining up with the Italian Giants, we brought in Castaneda, on a free transfer, a Spanish new gen slash regen who we're going to convert to centre half. But as my scout was looking for players that were available on the free transfer list and also young players with first team quality and potential for the future as well, he found me this guy, Elias Timmermans. This is a Belgian centre forward who at just 19 years old has not been snapped up by a club, yet he's 84 overall. Now when we joined AC Milan, I said we need to stretch those pennies bring in some young players and talk about your brilliant starts. First Castaneda, a 79 overall, and now Timmermans, who shows great potential. He's already got it. 84 overall, high medium work rates. He's absolutely rapid, so agile, brilliant dribbler of the ball as well with the high medium work rates. I need to get the weak foot up as it's only two star. That's going to be my priority to begin with. However, his stats are incredible. And as a finisher, as a creator, as a dribbler of the ball, this guy I can do practically anything. It reminds me a bit of KDB. Who knows, who knows. But uh, Timmermans in, my first signing. And as we know, we saw it in the last episode. Taking over with AC Milan, just 24 players here. And 12 of them had their contracts up coming the end of the season. I talked about this Milan side being on the brink of collapse. We let so many players leave on free transfers in the summer. I said we were rebuilding for the future with AC Milan. But that still meant we had to tie down some of our best and brightest young players. Now, Theo Hernandez at 90 overall, my favourite left back in the game, is staying. I think this guy could be captain in the new Milan era. Uh, Quebec is the only centre-back we've got. So, of course, I'm going to sign to a new contract. He's the only centre-half we've got here to begin with. But for the other players on the list... I've got to be honest here, 10 players that deals to come at the end of the year, including Yuri Tielemans, including Leon Goretzka, I think... I'm going to let them go. I've put Goretzka on the transfer list along with Campos. I think I'm going to look to sell these players in our first season here with AC Milan. It's a rebuild. There's going to be major change at the San Siro. But for our first big money signing of the window, well, I really wanted to bring this guy with me from Brentford to Milan. It's not Roberto Gutierrez. I don't know whether we'll be able to afford the Uruguayan in the first season. That was my plan, but I'm not sure we'll have the money. But we do have enough for this guy. We've got a centre-back crisis here with AC Milan. Just a one official centre-half in Quebec. I said, let's bring in another one. And in his debut year with Brentford, he was incredible. He was one of the man of the matches in the Champions Champions League final. He shut down Milan and now he's joining them. Francisco Santos, the Brazilian centre-back who he signed on a free transfer with Brentford last season. He's just 22 years old but 84 overall. Massive, massive fan of this young defender last season. He was really integral as part of our treble winning season and Francisco Santos is in for £46 million. Pounds. And I'm not going to sign all the Brentford players. I'm not going to sign all the Brentford fan favourites. You know, you, you just still Others, you know, James, Justin, Tariq Lamptey. I'm, I'm not going to sign them all, but I do want a couple. And Francisco was definitely someone I wanted to bring with me. He comes in, it'll be a starting centre-half in this team. Whether it's alongside Quebec or whether it's alongside Castaneda, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But we need to make this side younger. You know, we've got four, sorry, five players here that are 30 and above. We've got several players that are in their late 20s as well. We, we need to make this team younger. It's a team on the verge of collapse. We, we've only got 27 players in the squad now after our three new signings. We've got to make it younger. We've got to give it more depth. We've got to give it an identity as well. That's the one thing that Milan at the moment really don't have whatsoever. So, for now, we have two bits or two of our young players. We rejected them both and also a bit for Campos as well. Now, we put this guy on the transfer list. Uh, 23 years old, uh, 74 overall. I don't think this guy is going to make it as part of our long-term vision at the San Siro. So, whilst we have an incredibly thin squad, 
you think that selling players is probably not the right move to do when we need more bodies here. But I don't think the guy's got the quality for now or for the future either. So we sold him to Belgium. He's gone to Stanley Liège for 5.1 mil. And I'm totally fine with that because, again, we need to focus on the future, a big rebuild, but also bringing in young talent and also assembling a core, an Italian core as well. We signed a Belgian, we signed a Spaniard, and we signed a Brazilian. Now we've got to start signing some Italian players. So we need a new backup left back for Theo Hernandez. We know at 90 overall he'll be starting practically all of our games, but we want someone as an understudy. Destiny Udogi at Udinese, uh, moving on to Wolfsburg in the game. He's 77 overall, 23 years old, and he managed to agree a really cheap deal with a German side, Wolfsburg to bring him in. Now, I was actually reading an article about him. I don't really know much about this guy at all. I was reading an article that Theo Hernandez is actually his idol. So I thought this is a really cool signing here. Hernandez is our starting left back. He's his idol, and now we can learn under him as understudy as well. He's 13 ratings lower. He's not going to be a starter in this team, but as a backup, he'll certainly do a job. And at 23 years old, 77 overall, he could still get a little bit better as well. Destiny Udogi is our first Italian signing as the rebuild starts here with AC Milan. He's absolutely rapid. I'll need to get the stamina up, no doubt about it, with high medium work rates. I think going forward, this guy looks probably a little bit better than he is defensively. So I want to get the defensive work rate up to high, from medium to high. Get the stamina up. That's really, really crucial because we know we'll need the energy down the flanks in this team. But again, five years younger, 13 ratings low. He won't be a starter, but as an understudy for Theo Hernandez, I'm totally fine with that. So moving forward, a bid for Alex Romero, our Spanish goalkeeper, 31 years old, 84 overall. We don't need two really good goalkeepers here. We've already got Mike, who, of course, is going to be our starting goalkeeper at 89 overall, but they're both in their 30s now. We, we don't need two really good goalkeepers. Ramiro going at 84 overall. I'm totally fine with that, as Mike will be our starter. We don't need someone on the bench that's that good in our first season. But we also signed a new player on a free transfer again. I talked about stretching our pennies of AC Milan, rebuilding for the future, talk about talent in the attacking midfield role. First, we've got Timmermans, but this guy, Julius Schneider, he looks really good. Very, very very quick indeed. Fantastic dribbler of the ball with 85 ball control, 85 agility and 92 balance as well. I want to get the attacking work rate up to high, but he looks really good. And as the freebies continued here, we just signed Santos. Now I looked for another Brazilian defense minded player to come in. And this guy looks pretty exciting. Alessandro Menezes, a Brazilian holding midfielder, 20 years old, 76 overall on the free transfer list right now and snapped up by AC Milan. We're getting more freebies than Paris Saint-Germain right now. But we need it, obviously, to stretch the pennies. He shows great potential. He looks really decent. A very physical player. 84 strength already. Quite aggressive. Good defensive and passing stats as well. And at six foot one, whilst he's a holding mid by trade, I definitely think he could be trained to a centre back. It'll only take him two weeks to do that. He's got, again, good stamina, good jumping on him as well. Good defensive stats too. I'm definitely thinking maybe centre half or possibly keep him as holding mid. I don't know. But as a defence minded player, he looks very good for the the future as well. But following that, here come the big bids. Timo Werner, the German striker, moving on to Milan, fired a blank in the Champions League final, wanted by Barcelona for a massive, massive bid of 87.7 million pounds. Now for Gabak with Liverpool, he just signed a new extension so I don't think I'm going to accept that bid here, but for Werner and for Xavi at Barcelona, what is taking to the new camp? I said, look, give us 100 mil and he's yours. And Barca said yes. 100 million pounds for Timo Werner. And he's not our contract at the end of the season. He's not a player we need to make a decision on now. Having said that, he is 30 years old. As we do change Castaneda from holding mid to centre-back. Unfortunately, he doesn't grow our rating, so he stays at 79 overall. But I think definitely he and Santos could be our long-term CV partnership for the years we're here at the San Siro. Don't know what he's about, this guy. I just really, really like him. He's so aggressive. And again, good base defensive stats as well. As of all playing centre-back, looks really, really good. But sorry, moving back to Timo Werner, which is a little bit more important here. As you can see, the Ramiro deal falls down. But Atletico Madrid also wanted him as well. So I said to Diego Simeone, look, you match Xavi's offer of 100 mil and he's yours. Simeone said yes. So I said to Timo, it's your choice. If you want to stay at Milan, you can stay at Milan, mate. We don't mind. 87 overall and you're more than good enough to lead the line in this Milan side. But if you want to go to Spain and play for a Fletic or a Barca, the choice is yours. As we reject this bid from Mike here. And in the end, Timo said, what a chance I've got 
to establish myself as the new big dog for the Catalan Giants. Timo goes for £100 million to Barcelona. And to me, that's a really good sale. That's £23 million over the market valuation. We know this guy is class, but at 30 years old, we're looking to rebuild for the future. We're looking for younger players who are good enough now, but also had the potential to be stars in the future. Timo Werner goes for £100 million to Barcelona. And the question is, who's going to replace him? Have you got any ideas, guys? Hmm. So he rejected a bit for Quebec. I said he just signed an extension this summer, so it would be realistic to sell him to Liverpool directly after that. But it was a bit below Celso at Fulham. Wanted to take him back to London from Spurs to the San Siro and now to Craven Cottage. 50 million for low sales. That's a really good sale. At 84 overall, very good, but 30 years old. I'm more than okay with that. And as the freebies continued, as we continue to try and fit out this squad here with AC Milan and try and bring in some more Italian players as well, I found this guy and he looks really good. Diego Messina. He is a right back. He is 75 overall, but he shows great potential. He's very quick at just 21 years old. But some good stamina as well. Decent defensive stats too. I like the look of this guy. I really do. Probably not good enough to go into our first team just yet. But I think he looks pretty decent for the future. So Diego Messina on a free transfer. As we try and fit out the squad. Get more bodies to it. And also try and assemble an Italian core as well. Which at the moment we yet to do much of. Still falling out. A couple more bids for Romero. As you can see Chelsea missed out on Mike. So they came back for our second choice goalkeeper. Uh, of course he rejected a bid from Benfica. So I said to Thomas Ducal. If you you can give us 30 mil he's yours and the German said yeah so like I said earlier we don't need two really good goalkeepers here Romero is 84 overall 31 years old as Unai Emery and Villarreal matched the Chelsea offer as well we don't need both him and Mike one can go we, we only need Mike as our starting goalkeeper and then maybe a, a younger talent for the future for the cup games as well but yeah so Romero is going to go for 30 mil either to Spain or to West London and also Dressel as well uh, wanted by Willem we asked for 10 million pounds he's 77 overall but out of contract at the end of the season I'm totally fine letting him go I don't think he's got the talent for now or the future at 27 years old now there was also a huge bid for Florian Newhow as the massive bids came in out of contract at the end of the season 87 overall he's a class midfielder on the game but like I said we were building for the future and looking to sell the stars with just one year left in their contracts 77.5 mil is the deal we negotiate with Paris Saint-Germain and Florian Florian looks as though he's off to depart the France. Lo Celso went to Fulham. We got £50 million for that. And to be honest, I think that's a that's a really good sale. I know he's 84 overall, but again, Timmermans has just come in. He's 11 years younger and the same overall. Lo Celso was going to be a starter in this team, so he's gone to Fulham. I'm totally fine with that. And 50 mil is a good sale. As Sean Pratt has left Brentford, can you believe it? He's followed me to Italy, but not to the San Siro. Sean, why didn't you tell me you didn't want to stay in West London? I would have signed you. He's gone to Torino instead to a battle with Sean this season. Newhall goes to PSG for 77.5 mil. Ramiro goes to Chelsea for 30 million. Absolute carnage with Milan as the stars get sold so quickly. Ramiro 30. Newhall 77.5. Lo Celso 50. Werner for 100 as well. Major, major sales from the San Siro. And we look at the players that have come in. Santos, Messina, Schneider, Menezes, Castagnier, the Timmermans, all on free transfers apart from Santos and Udogi as well. Six new players coming in for AC Milan as the rebuild starts today. We still got a long, long way to go. There's still a month to go until the end of the summer transfer window. We're bringing in those new gens, we're bringing in those young players, we're rebuilding for the future. And with £280 million in our budget now after all those massive sales and a month to go in the transfer window, this rebuild is far from finished. But that will end today's episode of Korean World, guys. Massive fan coach. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is one of my favourite episodes of the series. I absolutely loved it. If you did enjoy it, then please drop a like. Much love to you. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for next episode very soon where the rebuild continues with AC Milan very soon.